Hello everyone and welcome back to One J in a Pod. I'm your host Joan and in today's episode I'm going to be a little bit vulnerable and talk about how I've been doing recently and yeah so let's just jump right in. So I don't even know where to begin um, <laughs> but I will start off by saying I am a senior this year and I am graduating in May, which is really, really exciting, but also very nerve-wracking at the same time. Um, it truly feels like yesterday where I, you know, came to Westchester as a little freshman, you know, moving away from home, living with my parents, you know, being codependent with my parents, and, you know, coming to a whole new different environment. Um and truly experiencing what independence is like. Um, And it's just so crazy how fast time flies. And now that I'm almost like a month away from graduating, it just feels so real and so scary to think about. Um, And the fact that I'm going to be, you know, entering reality and adulthood, it's just so crazy. And I have like a a lot of mixed emotions about that. And honestly, I am excited. Um, College has definitely been one of the best experiences of my life. But I'm also really scared to see what, you know, the future has in hold for me. Um, And yeah, I don't know. It's just like really exciting and nerve wracking at the same time. But um Yeah, recently I've been, you know, feeling a lot of, I guess, like, the emotion of, like, senioritis. Um, I know we've all felt that emotion, especially when we're in high school. I've definitely felt it really hard when I was in high school. Um, I, this is really bad to say, but, like, I barely went to school or I was like late all the time. Um, I just wouldn't care about like assignments or like tests. Um, and I would just like treat it really horribly. Um, but I did have like the best senior year of my life. And if I could go back, I totally would. Um, but I don't know why, but it just feels so much more different being a senior in college versus being a senior in high school. Um, Because I feel like in high school, like, you're still, you know, like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just so, like, different being a senior in high school and being a senior in college. Like, being a senior in high school is, like, really, really exciting because, you know, you're leaving, um, you know, like high school and like leaving all your friends and you're like off to college to like meet new friends and like continue like your journey of like education and like having fun. But leaving college is like, oh my gosh, like now I have to figure out what I want to do with my life. I need to find a job. Like there's just so many aspects to it that just makes it so different from being a senior in high school. Like, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know what I'm doing after graduation. And it, like, honestly scares me a lot. Um, I am moving back home in Jersey with my parents just to save myself some money and, you know, to be a little bit comfortable um, because I've been living away from home most of my college years. Um, My sophomore year was cut short or it was my freshman year that was cut short and that's when like COVID happened. So my spring semester of freshman year, that's when um, the university told us that we have to be home for two weeks and then we'll come back. But it just so happened that, you know, COVID just spread and that wasn't an option. So my whole sophomore year was um, during COVID and I had to stay home for a year and classes were online and that definitely made a huge impact on my life and I was very depressed um during COVID um and I had like a difficult time learning 
especially because, you know, we're learning through Zoom and it's just like very different, you know, learning online compared to, you know, being in a physical classroom. So I definitely feel like sophomore year was a hard year for me. And I was honestly debating if I should take a gap year because I was like crying to my mom every day. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, this is just so hard. And my mental health was like deteriorating. And my mom like felt so bad. And she was like, honestly, like, if you want to take a break from school, like do it. Like, it just like sucks that you have to be sitting in front of like a screen all day and having to learn um, and like try to focus. But I realized that, you know, I am just going to pull through and um, I'm going to try to graduate on time. So I decided to just, you know, go through with it and just finish off my sophomore year through Zoom. And honestly, I'm glad I did. Um, and I don't regret my decision at all, but it just really sucked um, having to do that for a full year. But yeah, my junior year, I came back on campus and it was amazing. Like I was able to, you know, do things that I couldn't do my whole sophomore year. Um, and I had a lot of like fun with my friends and it felt like amazing, you know, being in a physical classroom again. And it was just great. And now I'm here as a senior and it's just like so bittersweet. Um, you know, and I always think about like what my college life, like my college life was and I just like reminisce about it and I get so sad because I love Westchester like Westchester is like a beautiful school like I love it here so much and I'm just so sad that I only have like four weeks left to truly like enjoy my last bits of you know Westchester and you know the community the environment um but I honestly don't regret anything and I'm just so happy that I've been able to, you know, spend my college life, my college experience here, and it's just been amazing. Um, but back to what I was saying, post-grad, I have no idea what I want to do, um, which also, like, really, really, like, scares me, and everyone's like, oh, like, what are you going to do after graduation? Like, what are your plans? Like, have you found any jobs? And that is something that I always try to avoid in conversations because I just get like really anxious and I just like don't like talking about it but recently I've been pretty confident and open to talking about it and you know I just like tell people like oh yeah like I've been looking for jobs but like honestly whatever happens happens like I'm not gonna get upset with you know being jobless for like four five six months you know like I will you know find something eventually and I just am not gonna rush into anything um but yeah like I would well typically I would you know not have this type of conversation or I would just say, you know, like, I would maybe, like, find a job, you know, like, live with my parents and, you know, do so-and-so, this, that. But now I'm just, like, confidently able to be like, oh, yeah, if I find a job, then that's great. But if I don't, it's fine. Like, I'm not going to be upset about it. And I'm just going to, you know, try to enjoy my life post-grad. Um, I have been looking for jobs, actually. Um, and I do have an interview this week, which I'm really excited about. Um, but I don't think I've been too upset about life after college. Um, obviously I'm really sad that, you know, I'm not going to be living in Westchester anymore and like be with my friends all the time, but I'm just like glad that, or not glad, but like, I'm happy that. I'm, you know, going to be living with my parents again and also, like, be independent at the same time. Like, I feel like 
even though I'm living with my parents again, like because I'm old enough now to be able to do my own things and, you know, be independent, like I feel like I'll still be able to not like depend on my parents, if that makes any sense. Like I will still be able to, you know, go out and have fun without having my parents give me a curfew or them having to tell me what to do. So I feel like in that aspect, like I'm excited, but yeah, I'm just right now I'm just like chilling and I'm just, you know, trying to have fun and enjoy my time here truly. And I just want to make sure that I don't regret anything um, while I have four weeks left here. And I'm just trying to like really live in the moment and just like be like stress-free, carefree. And it's honestly been working um, little by little. So yeah, but also like mentally I've been, you know, struggling a lot um, because it's just like crazy how I'm like, my life is just gonna be so different from when I'm in college and when I'm not in college anymore, like after seeing my brother's life like change 360 after he graduated college, like I'm like, oh my gosh, like, is that going to be me? Like if I have like a nine to five job, like I'm going to have to like go to bed at like, I don't like 10 o'clock every night. Like that's not fun. (laughs) Like, you know, like now, like, um, I go to bed at like 2, 3 a.m. Like I'm just up all night and like having phone with friends. But like once I get like a real job, like I can't be doing that anymore. And I'm like scared that, you know, my life's going to be so boring and like I'm not going to enjoy life as much. But I feel like it's it's like it's going to be good. You know, like I feel like I'm just so like worried about, you know, not having as much fun when I graduate college, but like, I'm not seeing the bigger picture, which I'm slowly trying to see the bigger picture and trying to realize that, you know, life is great, no matter where you are, or what situation you're in. So I've been trying to tell myself to, you know, truly just live your life. Like, don't be so stressed. Like, whatever happens, happens, like, truly, um, so, yeah, like, that's really where I'm at, and, um, I've been, like, journaling a lot recently as well, and it's been helping a lot, and now that the weather's nice, like, I've been going on walks, and, um, going on, like, coffee dates with, like, my roommates and, like, my friends, and it's been nice, like, it's always, like, the small things that really make you happy, and I've just really been enjoying it and I have no bad things to say about it and yeah I'm just here um but I really do feel like I'm getting like so much older now and (laughs) even though I'm not that old like I just feel like mentally like I just feel so old and it's just like so crazy to think about having to like enter the real world and my brother always talks to me about this and he's like wait until you get to my age and wait until you enter the real world then you'll really understand and I never like understood like what he meant by that and I was like oh yeah yeah whatever but like now that I'm like four weeks away from graduation like I feel like it's truly like coming together and I'm just like oh my gosh like that's so scary. Like, I don't want to think about that right now. (laughs) But yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. And that's how I've been doing. But yeah. So that concludes today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you in next week's episode. Bye.